Drug Enforcement Administration. How can I help you today? Hey, hello, returning your call. Okay. The phone number is not reachable at this time. So, what did you want? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm returning your call. Help me out with your first and last name so that I can pull up your information. Andrew Barnes. Are you farting? Sorry, I was on the toilet. Sorry about that. No problem. How do you spell your name? Andrew, A-N-D-R-E-W, and Barnes, B-A-R-N-S. B-I-R-N-S. B-A-R-N-S. Okay, just be on the line for a moment while I pull up your information, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, you there? Yeah, I'm here, yeah. Now, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you about some legal enforcement actions filed against your social security. And we have received a legal complaint against you and your social security. And it seems entirely illegal. So, are you aware about the situation or this is the first time you are making, making any interaction with the law enforcement? No, I, I have no idea what, what you're talking about, man. Okay, so do you want me to go ahead and suspend your social security number, or you want me to give you more information? Well, I'd prefer you didn't uh, suspend it, because I kind of need it. Okay, no problem. So, before, before I give you any information, in order to verify your identity, verify me with your social security number and your date of birth. Okay, uh, 10th of May, 1970, and the... Uh, Last four digits are 9885. Uh, 9885, right? That's right. Okay, can I just hold the line for a moment while I verify this information? Sure. Okay, you there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. here. Now, first of all, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen. As what I'm going to say, you have to make some notes of it. Well, I don't have a piece of paper at the moment, man. You don't have it. Uh, well, if you give me give me a minute just to finish up here, I'll uh, I'll go get a piece of paper, but kind of in the middle of something right now. Sure. Okay. So I shall I go ahead? Uh, yeah, go go ahead. So first of all, I want you to note my name. Well, I can't note your name, but I, I want you to continue with uh, with your spiel, but I can't note anything down because I'm busy at the moment sitting here. So you can hear, right? I can hear, yeah, but I can't, I can't write anything down because, yeah, I'm sitting here at the moment. No problem. Then you, you need to memorize what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. Because it's very important. Yep, go ahead. Right? So my 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 first name is Nick. It's N R C. These lines on which we are talking right now are federally recorded lines. Anything you say can be used in your favor or against you in the code of. Law. So be honest as much as possible, and you would be aware about your rights before the call ends. Right? Yeah, I'd prefer you didn't record it. Thanks. You didn't ask my permission. Why? Well, you didn't ask my permission to uh, record it. Sir, this is a federally recorded line, and by default, all the federal calls are being recorded for security purposes. Okay, just give me a second. Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm just uh, walking to the other room. Hold on. Okay, uh, continue, No problem, please. take your time. Just let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm done now. Yeah. So, I'm ready. Okay, so if you want my information once again, I can again dictate it to you. Uh, I think I remember it was Nick Rolls and the case was at DC0334. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, and I unfortunately, no, I don't remember that. I just remember the first and the last. My batch ID is A, as in Alpha, yeah. 640218. Okay, I've got that written down there. Got it. No problem. So, and please do not interrupt me over this recorded line till I complete my part. And you will get a fair chance to speak and question once I have completed myself. Are we clear with this? Yes. Go ahead. Now, this investigation begin under your name and your social security number. Then, we decode an abandoned car in the southern border of Texas. Second recipient from Mexico was in the name of Julian Ramirez. So, do you know any of these persons or have you heard these names before? No, I never heard those names. They sound weird. Okay, so do you have any questions regarding this case? Well, where where was this car found? I'm sorry? Where was the Toyota Colora found? In the southern border of Texas, near El Paso. Have well, you ever been to Texas? I haven't been to Texas, but uh, looking at a map here, uh, El Paso is not on the south border. Like, you know, I'm assuming it was dumped on the freeway, on the interstate. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. I'm assuming it got dumped on the interstate at the border, at the checkpoint, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yes? Okay, so not at El Paso. It's near El Paso. I, I didn't say that it is in El Paso, near El Paso, the, in the southern border of Texas. Oh, okay. So, do you want me to go ahead and give you more information about this case? Oh uh, yes, please. Because yeah, it's just a little uh, confused there because in this regard, because it's like five hundred miles between regard, the two. I understand that, and in this regards, I have personally checked your past records, and I have found that your banking contains genuine records, and your social has no other complaint in the past. That is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any kind of legal consequences. Okay. And there is a high possibility that someone has access to your personal information, like your banking accounts, your social security number, your signatures, your biometrics. And oh. that is the biggest concern for us right now, because you must be a victim of identity theft. Okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'm on my cell phone. I'll drive down to the bank and get all my money out before they steal it. Have you ever used your social somewhere for any kind of job applications and loan applications over the internet or any public area? Yeah, of course. Whenever you uh, apply for a job, you got to put your social. When you uh, when you take out loans, you got to use the social. When you rent a car, you got to use the social. There's so many different things. Mm-hmm. So of course, yeah, I've rented cars. Okay. I've you know I've applied for jobs. So you know. your social has been used for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And we assume that your identity has been stolen and someone has access to your information. So are you willing to help the Department of U.S. Treasury to find the real culprit? Yeah, of course. Using your information towards these criminal activities? Of course, I'll cooperate fully. I appreciate that. Because, trust me, it's very important to differentiate what true information belongs to you and what information has been created by the culprit. So we need to differentiate those things. So before I transfer your call to the United Treasury Department for further investigation, I would like to verify and differentiate your true information by asking you a few questions. Mm -hmm. And do you hold a check-ins or a savings account with the city banks? Oh, I've got a check-in of savings. Okay. And what is the approximate balance you have in your savings account? Uh, about thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven dollars. Okay. And what about check-ins? Uh, the check last time I looked about seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. And do you have any credit cards under your name? Uh, yeah, I do, but it's maxed out. It's maxed out. Yep. Help me out with the name of the credit card. What do you mean the name of it? Are you asking is it the a type? MasterCard, a Visa card? What is it? Yeah, MasterCard, Master the Possibilities, yeah. Okay. 
And do you have any kind of 401k or any IRA account under your name? Oh, I've got a 401k, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is the approximate true value of your 401k? Uh, good question. I have no idea. Yeah. I'd have to go online to... Well, I don't know. I'm with, sorry? I, would, I don't know, to be honest, uh, with the share prices going up and down as they are, uh, like the market's pretty low due to that COVID thing. Uh, I reckon there's probably somewhere between 300 and 400 in there. Three to 400, right? Yeah. Okay. And do you have any future investments in your money marketing? Uh, no, definitely not. Can't afford that. You go ahead, verify me. No, I, I said I don't. I can't afford that. I don't have any of that. Oh, okay. And do you have any health insurance under your name? Uh, no. No health insurance. Under this case, you will get a option in which you, you will go ahead and convert your money into a digital card digital currency like you will be getting a money card on the like federal bond vouchers right okay wouldn't it be better just withdrawing the hundred and twelve dollars and uh, keeping it in my wallet no you can't keep any funds in your into your wallets because once the line is getting disconnected I will be sending two officers who will be paying visit to you at your doorsteps and if they found anything then they will be taking to this custody and count as the black money what's black money because it it is the case of money laundering which is under your social security number right oh, okay so these electronic petrol vouchers will have a monetary value on it and it will be count, counted as a digital currency. All the vouchers will have a security barcode at the back of the vouchers. Okay. So first of all, you need to go and withdraw your funds. Uh, but you said I couldn't. I'm sorry? You said but I couldn't. I have taken the permission for that. Oh, okay. I have to taken the permission for that. Okay. So I'll withdraw my funds so, and put it in my wallet. Yes. No. The third protocol is that you don't have to disconnect or keep me on mute or you can't keep me on hold. You first of all you need to go to your bank and withdraw the funds. I'm on the, I'm staying collect, connected on the line. Okay. Hello, you there? Yes. Yeah, you I just to the bank. Yeah, I just ride to the bank here. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Help me out with the current zip code. A uh, nine zero two six five. It's just around the corner. I'm sorry, what? It's nine zero two six five, right? That's right. Okay. Um, you can go into the bank, simply withdraw the cash, and when you come out, let me Okay, you want to be on speakerphone while I go in the bank, or what? Yes, and make sure you're not disclosing 
this illegal investigation to any third party, as I said. Okay. Well, I'll just go to the ATM. Yeah. Uh, I can draw 110 out of that. No problem. Withdraw. Okay. Give me a few Once minutes. Once you withdraw it, let me know. Okay. I'll just put sure. this uh, phone in my and pocket while I do it because I need my hands free to, uh, to use the machine. Okay. And don't talk to me inside the bank, right? Oh, I'm just going to do it outside at the ATM because I don't want to go in, you know, scared of that coronavirus thing, you know, so I'm just going to uh, do it okay, outside. Okay, no problem. Let me know once you withdraw it. Okay. Won't be a second. I'll just put this in my pocket. It'll be about 30 seconds. Sure, no problem. Are you there? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I've got the hundred and ten dollars out. Yes, hundred and ten dollars, right? Yep. Okay, no problem. I will give you a address. Uh, you need to go to that store and you need to buy a card. Uh, yeah. What store is it? Just a minute. I'll give you the location. Oh, if you give me the name of the store, I'll probably know where it is. It's a pretty small town here. Do you know Ralph nearby you? What's it called? It will be next to the bank. Ralph. It's R A L P H S. Looking there, sir. Back in a few minutes. No, nope. no problem. Okay. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I'm yes, glad sir. to be out of that store. It is so loud in there. Yeah, it it, it was too much loud. Yeah. Anyway, I've got the uh, I've got the card, so that's it. So now you need to register those cards with the Drug Enforcement Administration. So when the officers will be coming at your doorstep, they will be looking at the registration number, and then they will be giving you the certified check for the same amount. Oh, okay. So can you just move to a private place first of all? Well, I'm outside uh, around the corner sitting on the seat away from everyone now. I don't want to get coughed on. Okay, no problem. So first of all, take out the car and take it in your hand. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it out of the plastic here, hold on. Sure. Okay. Then just flip the card. Yeah. Um, see the back side of the card? Yeah, I see the back, yeah. You will see a silver panel, or a scratch panel. You yeah, see that? Yeah, I see that, and there's a barcode below it. Uh, you need the barcode number? No, I need uh, you will scratch that. You will see a you will see a silver color scratch panel, and once you will scratch that, you will see some numbers. Those are the registration numbers. Okay, uh, give me a second. Did you pull out the card from the packet? Yeah, yeah, I've got the card out of the packet, packet uh, and I see the um, okay. See Just the scratch panel. Scratch yes. it gently. You don't need to erase the number on the on that card, okay. right? All right, hold on. Yeah. Okay, I've uh, I've scratched it. I see all these numbers and letters. Okay, go ahead and dictate me the numbers slowly. You want me to read and them? And read to out you? the alpha and. Yes, the alpha and numeric words, so that we can register those cards under your name. Okay, I thought you'd want the barcode number. No, I need to, that number, the scratch panel number. Oh, okay. Uh, five, U R five, O five. Can you X, go slow? It's y, five two U, nine y, U as in umbrella. V, L E G seven A S S five. Hello. Yeah, hello. Can you go slow. 
Oh, okay. Can uh, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, five. You are you, five. You, listen me out. Listen me out, okay? Just read four and then take a break and then, then read another four. Okay. You ready? Right. Yes, it's five. U as in umbrella. L as in Lima. No, it's five. You are five. I. I as in ice cream, right? No. It's five. You are five. Can you use the phonetics? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Five. You are. What is I? There's no I. I as in Indiana or A as in Alpha. No, there's no I. There's uh, a five. You are five. Five. You are five. What's that? What is up to you? Ah. And how do you spell, um, uh, like, how do you say that? It's U as in umbrella, I as in Indiana, A as in alpha. Oh, there's no, um, there's no is Indiana. Uh, there's just an R. So, five, U, R, five. Okay, now can you just hold the line for a moment? I'll transfer your call to the United Treasury Department and they will be bearing these uh, numbers, right? Okay, sure. Just make sure you're not, you not disconnecting this call, okay? No, I'm here. The line has been transferred to the senior investigating officer with the United Treasury. This is Officer William McDormand. Uh, hey, William, uh, I'm supposed to read a barcode or something to you. Uh, yes, uh, so can you just go slow with uh, the numbers and uh, the alpha alphabets uh, specifically like if you have number one, say number one, number two, if you have a letter that is U as an umbrella, A as an alpha, speak like that so that I can put it into the system and we are making sure that we are not making any mistake because this is the information that I'm going to submit it to the United Treasury and the officer is going to come at your place, he's going to verify the same numbers. So please make sure that we are not making any mistake and please detect, uh, please speak the numbers very slowly and gently. So okay. we'll start with number five. Oh, so did you want the scratch code or did you want the barcode? I want the scratch. Uh, once you scratch uh, that particular card, all right, you will see the numbers, an alphanumeric number there, which will be like uh, 16 to 20 digits. Oh, okay, if you're after the scratch like, thing, that's uh, five U R five. I'm sorry. Five U R five. All right, and it's number five. A U as in umbrella, R as in Romeo. And the number five. Number five, then. Then O, five X Y. O as in Oscar. I'm sorry. O five X Y. O five X Y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then two nine Y V. Mm -hmm. L E G seven. L A J seven. A S S five. I S S R. No five five. It's the last. It's number five. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll send you a text message uh, from uh, my cell phone. What I want you to do is I want you to click the picture of the card and send it on that particular number because I'm not able to verify uh, because whatever the information you're giving me, uh, I think that uh, that would be the correct information. But because of uh, uh, your heavy accent, I'm not able to verify the letters that you are saying. What and do you mean? Reason. I'm going to send you a. Uh, what do you I'm mean sorry. a heavy accent? I'm saying that I'm going to send you a high message on your cell phone, and I want you to go ahead and take a picture of the card and send it to me. Yeah, but I don't understand why I've got a, a heavy accent. I, this is just how I talk. I'm not able. You said R, so I don't understand what R means. Like R as in Romeo, 
A as an Alpha, E as an Elizabeth. And when I'm asking you, even you are not like verifying it correctly. So that's the reason we don't want to make any mistake here. And that's the reason I'm telling you to go ahead and click a picture. Oh, so you want me to say uh, R as in Rundi, uh, B as in Bancho, that sort of stuff. Is that right? You're breaking I'm not up. able to hear it properly. Okay, uh, so you basically you want me to say R is in Rundi, B is in Bancho, C is in Studio, stuff like that. Is that right? Exactly. I want you to say R as in Rundi, B as in Bosrino, and D as in Donkey, like you. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Close so. Over. 